Okay, guys, a real fast recap from my side. The markets look like they're going to reverse and go low. I mean, look at the NASDAQ. Look at this reversal signal. This is ideal. You know, it's the same candle you have on the S&P. So that's pretty much nothing's guaranteed, but that's going to go lower. Maybe gap fill, let's see. But that's really, you know, resistance. And on top of that, a massive bearish engulfing candle on the two main markets. The Dow Jones also tagged its resistance close at low of, at low of day. The Russell pretty much the same thing so they've all got massive reversal signals so you're pretty much going to go lower that's the way i see it the banks by the way i mean they have to follow but look they're kind of outperforming the markets that's interesting but they also tag resistance the xlf the kbe not really actually closed but you can see it closed its little window over there its little gap but still closed above what i call resistance but the kre you know, also tagged and closed below resistance. So although they outperform the markets, they also hit resistance and closed below. So for me, reversal in the markets and the banks. If we look at interest rates, okay, the one year, I want to continue to ignore. I really think they have gone a bit lower, but I think we're, we're talking about a reversal uh, from a support point of view. So look at this two year all the way back down to here. For me, this is the first clear support. You know, I was saying during this whole period here that it's just no obvious support. So, I mean, they can reverse at any moment. But look, now we really did tag the only line I had for support. You can see why I considered it support. So the two-year for me has hit support, could reverse. Five-year, not really. It was just a no man's land, but maybe it will reverse and go up because of others. The 10-year actually went through where I considered the first line of support. Interesting. So definitely could bounce from, from here because I think it should have bounced from here, actually. In the 30 year, we're pretty much at also the, the first major line of support. If it keeps going lower, you've got kind of a strong line of support coming in too. So the point is, I think whether it's the 30 year, the two year, you know, the 10 year also, they're all, I think we're pretty much at a bit of a support point. So I expect some some bounce up in yields so the bonds going lower if we look at tlt by the way look we also we closed above the first major level of support slash resistance so i mean that's that's quite impressive but i, I just have a feeling that we're going to go and reverse the move in yields so yields are bonds down that's what i expect and by the way if we look at the dollar the dxy you know obviously that crashed through 103 but look at the reversal candle there yesterday no, that's quite nice. So I expect a small move up, but it'll be temporary. I think the trend is low in the DXY. So, you know, we could have a move back up 103, 103.5, and then back down. Let's see, maybe we go down to 102, big round number. And then maybe the yields also go back down with that move. So I just expect a bit of a bounce in the DXY, a bit of a bounce in yields, which would kind of coincide perfectly with the drop in the market. So I think that kind of move is coming. Let's check out commodities. So copper, you know, continued its slow rise, but with the markets going lower, which I expect, and with the with the dollar going up, which I expect, of course, maybe copper goes back down again. How far low? I don't know. 3.8, definitely, maybe all the way back down to this level, 3.7-ish, low 3.7. Natural gas, just the widow maker. Look at this, overdid the retracement and then flushed the major. It's not really major, major, but pretty medium tier level of support so does it bounce from here i mean it really should because if it goes any lower that's really weak i mean that's weak price action for the for the bulls it already is but sometimes it does this you know it flushes it just goes down to tease the technical people flushes it and it comes all the way back up i just expect it to go up because it's just too low <laughs> so i yeah i mean i expected a bounce from here at least and it flushed so I expect even more of a bounce from where it is now, let's say. Okay, oil, at least that's acting uh, in line with what I expected. So, you know, that closed above this descending, keeps going. I think we're going to go all the way up to, to 80. You know, maybe we just level off there, go back down here. But I think we're going to go all the way up to 82. And then some sideways action again. And we're going to break out of this descending and go all the way back up to 90. So, I mean, just to put into... Uh, graphics what i just explained something like this maybe down maybe up maybe down something like that basically in the end we go higher back up to 
sort of 90. So I expect we go up. I really did think this was overdone massively. Even this was overdone. So both levels of support, I mean, and definitely their levels of support, but they're, they're both levels that you can buy from because this is a big retracement. Uranium, that's interesting. Back down we go. I mean, it has had a major move. So, I mean, I expect it to go all the way up to 31.5, to be honest. It's just very strong, long-term, medium-term, short-term, fundamentally, you know, the thesis. So, and I think it will go to 31.5, no problem. When? Don't know. It has had a major move. If we go, well, we are going back down, but if we go any lower, I expect the first level of support to be this one, this general level. And then if it crashes through that, then this other... Yeah, and both of these tram lines, basically ascending tram lines, which I rarely ever draw actually on charts, but I think they really make sense. So all the way back down here, definitely buy if it crashes even more. This should be even stronger. And to be honest, you've got all this consolidation zone here. So very strong support around here. Very, very strong. I mean, I don't think it'll get there, but, you know, this area especially, not just this ascending line, but because of all this stuff here. Okay, gold and silver. So, well, I said this already, you know, we've hit resistance at 2050. So sideways, by the way, if the dollar just bounces a little bit, yields go up, which goes in line with the dollar bouncing, this should drop. And also the market's going down. That can happen. So maybe a bit of a drop, nothing special. Level of support is 2010 because it was level of resistance. So I expect 2010 to hold. It may even reverse. I mean, it may hold support or find support before 2010. I mean, we could just have this like drop and then people buy the dip and then it becomes some sideways price, price action. So let's just see. I just don't expect it to keep going up. It may just go sideways or it may dip a little bit. That's what I expect for gold and silver. And of course, if I expect that for gold or silver, I expect the same thing. So for silver, just sideways under 25. I don't think it's allowed to go up whilst the dollar bounces. Who knows? There could be an event where the dollar goes up with the metals, but otherwise I expect sideways price action or a small dip, and it should find support above 24. And the miners, of course, will follow. The miners, yeah, I mean, for me, GDXJ, you've got resistance based on gold right now. The real resistance is 39, but I think we just, we're not allowed to go up to 39 because gold has a bit of a, lead to it at the moment so maybe just sideways at 38 or just above 38 where you see it now gdxj the same thing and in case they drop which they definitely could do if the markets drop and the dollar goes up then it'll be the prior level so for gdx uh gdxj that would have been sorry 36 let me go back to it you know if we do have a drop i don't expect a big drop like this people will definitely buy this dip but 38 36 should be by my zone just as um 2010 is buy zone for gold and yes sorry for gdx it's the it's the 30 zone isn't it so where it is now again it could go sideways here 31 ish resistance for me the first real resistance 31.75 but yeah we have it right now because of gold if it drops 30 so there you go real quick hope that was useful let's see what happens today it's still very very exciting though of course